Virgo loves, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the second week in October. And yes, I do record this reading right before the new moon in Libra. All about balance loves as well. Venus is all about love. Venus is the planet who rules Libra and will go direct into Sagittarius on the 7th. But let's see here, Virgos, what do we have here for you? As this month feels like fulfilled with a lot of greatness. For some of you, Virgos, you might need help or there is somebody here you are helping. I'm hearing help and this help will be given. Let's see what we have here for you. General reading as always. Be very much mindful what you take with you. Number 42, which sums up to the six. It's all about balance. Chap would carry water loves and yes virgo feels like you fork in the road feel at the crossroads what should i do where to go should i move or should i stay because many many of you you might you might feel here that if i go what could be and so on but let's see here the Chapwood energy with feels and speaks to you. Being grounded in everyday experience, humility and gratefulness as well very much speaks that be you no matter what, no matter situation you are dealing in. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. Pruning a tree doesn't mean you do that for fun. That means you make it stronger. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be the let nature take its course in an important step in manifestations. Taking your attention away from your goal bring you into a state of receptivity. This is deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which brings you ever closer to what you seek so here he is loves what do you seek what do you want it is coming you might feel here that nah not yet yes patience is a virtue patience is a gift which not everybody has it a stronger will energy not everybody has it but you are fulfilled with that. So be very mindful, loves. 42 makes six, as you are the sixth zodiac sign here. And what is here? There is something here like a new beginning coming, but something here doesn't feel for you yet. Because the fork in the road speaks the number four. 13 some subs to four so it's like the pivotal moment here being grateful for the journey ground yourself will make you go in that direction virgo 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 
whatever in the world you are welcome either you are always here either you are just coming across as well if you really enjoyed this video give it a like give it a share and of course subscribe and your feedback is very much appreciated let's love one overarching energy for the week you got it loves strength leo energy here might be a leo around you but we have the infinite energy here which speaks to you that as above of as below you can work through and as you see here this lady is holding up this big lion no matter how hard situation or the energy you're dealing you got this because you choose so you might feel like no i'm not that i i, I don't do this so well see for yourself your heart may not see it your mind might not see it but you know it open up your intuition loves and don't doubt it because something here it's quite coming and quick to you four of wands six of cups two of cups five of swords death three of wands whatever you manifest loves it's coming as we move into the scorpio season quite quick three of pentacles seven of pentacles it's kind of it's kind of you waiting for this for such a long time and page of cups and now you are giving this chance to yourself this opportunity to yourself you might connect here with a gemini with a sag with a leo with a scorpio or another water sign but let's see here some clarifications because i feel here for some of you virgos indeed here with this fork in the road you are at the crossroads to leave something behind which clearly with this five of swords didn't really fulfill and to go get your wish to go get your manifestations my feel here that doesn't really come to you or doesn't feel that it is real but it is for some of you especially for those virgos who've been committed in the past you might say i don't really believe in love or in any commitment or anything like that or to be ever committed never say never all right loves let's see five of swords ten of wands mistrust those energies here you been surrounded let them go because i feel here you will they are not bring you any stability or fulfillment and you clearly know you clearly know what's changing with the death energy here because we have the major arcanas here we have death lovers and strength and now the clarifier the judgment for some of you 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 overcome the karmic situation here and now it's time for you to choose you as well to choose the change whatever that change speaks to you because change for each and everyone speaks differently 
Change could be a home change. Change could be a job change. Change could be a whole new you. Changing your attire, changing your the way you look or the way you look at the things. There are so many changes you can do. Death. Well, this change feels to you a very happy one. Ten of Cups. And this is the tenth month. This month, by the end of the month, comes up. A very, very good one. Why did you wait so long? Because I'm feeling here, I'm speaking with a Virgo who is single right now. Seven of Cups. That's what are we speaking. Confidence. Or you've been waiting here to, to find yourself. To get yourself together. To find that inner strength. So you, so you can move forward. And that's the chap with the energy here. Humility and being grateful for the journey, for the lesson, is to move forward. And now this opportunity comes in. Page of Cups. Hangman. Ace of Swords. And King of Cups. Yes, comes in a small batch. And with the Hangman here and the Ace of Swords, clearly you, you got to reflect and as well to see it differently. Or the situation or the way you see whatever it's coming to you differently. If you see it differently, this energy, small energy, transform in such a big one. It's like there is a treasure hidden. And it's quite a big one. Loves, don't miss it. And the world speaks to you that it's a very new way a whole new chapter is uncovering, is presenting to you. And I feel here is the one, you are the one who choose. Two of Wands is missing. We have Two of Cups, Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. And of course, we have the Lovers, which is a choice too. Two of Wands is the one we not have any here. But I feel here you manifested here and this manifestation is coming. And I don't feel you need more time. Even you might request it. But for sure, it's by the end of this month. There's no longer than that. You still want to stay single and mingle? It's up to you. Let's see here. The two of wands, where is... Two of Wands for the Virgo. Where is the Two of Wands? Oh, here she is. Look at this. The Two of Wands card is right here. And is in between Eight of Wands and is in between Six of Wands. Whatever is here, see the opportunity. Eight of Wands very much speaks about communication, movement, and there's a lot of movement. It's too much. You know it. And Six of Wands. This movement could be quite successful, beautiful. And Six of Wands is a winning card. And it's the minor arcana of Leo. If you want it, you know it. Yes, loves. Yes. And look at here. We have the star afterwards. 
and the five of cups here make sure it's not a missed opportunity virgo because i feel here this is a whole new brand new opportunity you might not have an opportunity like this for a, quite a while so if you doubt too much if you don't feel like it's yours yeah let's see one advice one message here for you empress ace of pentacles five of cups and the wheel of fortune either way you will move forward okay if you move forward if comes a person to you this is meant to be the one in this timeline in this earthly life because i'm feeling here there's some virgos too much too much into their past don't do it loves because i feel here the universe tries to put you in your real path your true path with your person don't look too much into the whatever happened to you or what happened to you with who happened to you all right loves all right see you virgo and i hope this speaks to you resonates with you and if does you know what to do namaste